Botticelli e Gisser Pictures Presents. Matthew for Hire. Matthew for Hire at 14, The Home Depot. Welp, I guess working a job from a fictional TV series was worth nothing, out of all the jobs I've previously worked at, I've felt genuine passion to work at the Krusty Krab, but guess I should have kept my own mouth shut, cause this job somehow turned out to be a steaming pile of fish shit. Let me describe all those customers I had to deal with, there was this fat fish like guy who wanted a huge order for himself, like what the hell is wrong is his problem. He's literally gonna get sick and possibly get cancer from that tremendous amount, like come on, he should know better than to do something like that. Then there was this yellow dude who wanted a chocolate milkshake with his crabby patty, even though I've told him that the machine that makes the milkshakes was broken, but of course he was too stupid and blind to even pay attention. I've repeated myself enough times, and he would get karma for himself by getting cooked alive. Yes you freaking heard me. Next time I see him and does the same thing he will get what's coming to him. There was this young Asian girl who wanted two orders with her bald friend, which turned out that annoying bald piece of shit Caillou, you guys must know how much I freaking despise that annoying whiny shit who constantly throws fits 24. 7. Why would I serve someone who's friends with someone who throws constant tantrums like a spoiled rotten brat? Guess I'll probably never find out. Also, do I recognize that Asian girl? Haven't I seen her somewhere, like GameStop or something? Lastly, the one that absolutely brings my nerves to a near boil, Brooklyn motherfucking tea guy, also known as my boss from McDonald's. Okay, first off, what is it with running into old customers? I'm at this point starting to get sick and tired and I feel like I want to pass my ass out. Secondly, how the fuck does my McDonald's boss work so? Many. God. Damn. Jobs. No seriously, how does one guy have that many jobs to work? That is so impossible, like how can he possibly manage all those jobs in one day? If he seriously thinks that he could be better than me, I'll prove his dumbass wrong. Anyhow, I better not see him in my sight again or it will not be pretty in the slightest. I will say the blonde woman was fine, and not much of a problem. But everything else was just a complete misery, and nothing but a big missed opportunity. And you know what, who even gives two craps if Squidward returns early to his job and makes a huge fuss about it, that may as well be his problem, not mine. Anyhow, I believe I've rambled on and on far enough. This is the 13th times I've been fired, where should I work next? Oh, I think I know a job that I could totally be down for. I'll get a job at the Home Depot. Even though I'm not really into home hardware stores, I guess it would do for a change. Alright Matthew, judging from your experiences on handling material supplies and all that, it seems that you are worthy of joining the business, so, you're hired. Thanks Mr. Android, I promise I'll do what I can and not let you down. Good, now before we proceed further, just one question to ask. Are you capable of knowing your way around the store to where our material may be located? Um, I, uh, yes. I'm close to 100% certain and confident that I'll be able to know my way through and back. Good, if you're certain you got what it takes, then we hope for the best. Our interview is over now. Your current shift is scheduled next week Friday at 11am. Have a good day sir, and by the way, just call me by boss. Okay then, see you then. One week later. Okay Matthew, since it's your first day on the job, you will be helping out with customer purchases. I will be in my office in the meantime. If there's any problems or concerns, please feel free to let me know. Got that? Yes boss, I got everything under control. Great. Good luck Matthew. Welcome to the Home Depot. How can I help you? Hi. Do you have any hardwood floors in stock? I need to replace the old floorboards in my classroom. The flooring material I need is called spruce. Um, I think we might have those types in stock. Give me a few seconds sir, while I go check the aisle section. Holy crap, there's way too many wood materials that I can't tell which exact one is which. I guess this could be it. Let's just hope it is the correct one. Um, is this what you're looking for sir? Dude what the hell, this isn't spruce material, this is pinewood, can you go back and check again? 
Oh, okay, sorry. I'll go and check again. Ugh, I can't even tell which one's which. Almost every piece of floorboards look exactly the same. Holy hell. Let's see if this one is closest to spruce. Is this what you're looking for, sir? No. Now you have timber in your hands. I asked for spruce. How on God's earth are you even an employee, yet you can't tell what wood material is which? Dude who the fuck cares for what exact material is which, they're all the same. Just take either one for fuck's sake. They are not all the same. There are different types of wood material, and yet you can't tell one from another, this is beyond stupid. Go check again, I'm not putting up with this crap again. Dude just take whatever I give and leave. You're literally making yourself look like a jackass. I asked for a specific wood material, and yet you work here with no experience with the different materials here. What an embarrassment you truly are. You know what, enough with this fucking crap already. Just take whatever wood material I give or just piss off out of my sight. At this point you're just wasting precious time. Fine then, fuck you to hell. I'll just go to another Home Depot to get the wood material I'm looking for. The day you get your ass fired I will totally laugh at your own sorry pathetic ass. Fine then, it's not like I even care. You may as well whack yourself with a piece of floorboard which would have been more entertaining than to waste your time bitching over a certain wood material. Just fantastic, I'm already having to deal with the same crap with finding the exact thing for the customer that is hard to find. Can this day just not get any worse than this? Welcome to the Home Depot, whatever can I? Wait just a second, aren't you that same customer from Baskin Robbins? Oh great, it's that exact employee who refused to give me my order of Cherry Jubilee ice cream, and somehow happened to find you working here at the Home Depot? Just fucking wonderful. Haven't I've seen enough of running myself into previous customers enough already, it's the same thing every single goddamn time, I deal with a customer at a previous job, and then sometime forward, I happen to run into them again. This is downright pathetic. Oh yeah, all this coming from the same guy who can't change his attitude and not learn any lessons from the previous job, nor take any responsibilities for your actions, and it is no surprise that you haven't changed in the slightest. Like everything you said is gonna change anything bitch, and don't even think that I'm gonna give or help you with something, cause I ain't gonna do jack shit for you. I was just coming over to see if I could buy some light bulbs to replace the old lights for my dining room. But since you're somehow working here, I'm not gonna bother getting anything here unless you get fired. Goodbye you self-entitled jerk. Yeah, you leave and don't even think about coming back here you stupid ginger-haired bitch. Holy shit, what the hell is it with running into old customers? Can someone even tell me? At this point it's seriously starting to slowly make my blood boil. Everywhere I go it's almost always like this. Welcome to the freaking Home Depot. Whatever the hell can I freaking do for you? You okay sir, I'm just here to see if you have any wall paint. Yes the hell we freaking do, now what the hell color paint do you want? I'm looking for a sky blue color, do you happen to have any in stock? Yes the hell we do, now pay up 30 freaking ass dollars. Okay man chill out. Take your paint can and get lost. Dude, what is it with your behavior? You sound completely insane. Just leave already. Matthew Patterson, what do you think you're doing back there? Am I hearing poor behavior coming from you? Uh, no boss. Nothing out of the ordinary. Exactly what I thought. I better not see you messing around or you're out of here. You understand. Oh, uh, yes boss. Got everything under control. Good. Now to get back to doing more paperwork. Phew, that was so freaking close. So glad I didn't get fully caught. I'm really getting too close to losing more than two of my brain cells, especially after with that lady from Baskin Robbins, I better keep all the effort I can do to keep my act under control, cause this is seriously getting absolutely obnoxious. Welcome to the Home Depot, how can I help you? Hi, I'd like to buy this new electric lawnmower, I'm planning to replace the old one I own that runs on gas. Huh, it's one of these products that runs on electricity instead of gas. Just like with cars that run on electricity, I guess it's no wonder the manufacturing industry is totally evolving. Okay, that will be $250. Here is $260, keep the change. Thanks ma'am, 
Have a nice day. Thank you, sir. All right, looks like things are slowly getting back on track. Let's just hope for the best that everything goes smoothly this time. Welcome to the Home Depot. How may I? Why do I always speak way too soon instead of shutting the fuck up? Why is my teacher from summer school happening to be here shopping? Oh Rook, who do we have here? An awfully familiar piece of shit student from summer school who was nothing but disrespectful. Constantly spoke shit to me. Refuses to do subject I give. Throw textbook and pencil at my face. And tell me to suck And now forward in time. Somehow you got job at Home Depot. That bullshit. Fucking bullshit. Well you deserve all the crap given from the way you treated me and gave me stuff I don't give two shits about like learning fucking English. Oh really? Maybe instead of showing bad behavior, how about instead, I don't know, pay proper attention and respect in crass like how I expect students in my crass to be. Says the guy who wouldn't let me have a chance to do what I wanted to freaking do. You think you're entitled to be in control when it comes to teaching in a classroom? But you can't to me. Cause I can do what I want to and don't want to do, so there's your answer. That's not how it works dipshit. I'm not gonna explain this further anymore. What freaking ever. Now are you gonna buy something or just leave the store? I need to replace my old toilet bowl with a new one. Nothing else. Can you rat me by priest? Hell no you ain't getting shit after what you did to me so get fucking lost you piece of shit cock mom girl. I knew you say that to me. Fine then I'll go to another Home Depot instead. And oh, before I forget. What the hell is it man? Ah! Oh. That's it. You're banned from ever coming here ever again, and they mean fucking permanently. Wow, not only running into old customers, but running into teachers from school. How much more could there fucking possibly be? Welcome to the freaking bitch has home deco. How the fuck may I help your stupid dumbass today? Sir, could you not mind getting a hold of yourself? I just want to buy this pot of lily flowers for my garden, okay? No sense when the fuck do men buy girly flowers like this? I'm not letting you buy this shit. Go buy something that actually suits your men. Oh come on man. Do you seriously expect men and women to be only into certain things they'd like? You know that there are stuff that men can be into that women like. Like I shouldn't be explaining this to a grown adult who's literally working at a freaking hardware store. First off, I am freaking 18 years old. And second, this is how freaking society is viewed nowadays and I hate it over 100%. So there's your answer. Do I need to explain further? Dude, you are just being self-entitled to yourself. People are allowed to enjoy stuff that you dislike. So if that's the case with you, fine. But don't bash what people like myself aren't supposed to like that you so despise. That's how it works man. Now can you not waste more of my time and let me buy these lily flowers? No, and I mean no. Now you buy something else or get nothing and leave the fucking store you absolute disgrace ugly for I'd freak. Fuck this shit then. I'll just go to a nearby garden plant store to buy lily flowers instead. I've never in my life had to deal with a rude, self-entitled, rotten man child of an employee who refuses to let me buy something. Just disgraceful. I may as well not come back until you get yourself fired. Just shut the fuck up and get out of my sight you absolute cunt. What in God's name is it with these people giving me a freaking hard damn time? And what is it with you not doing your job properly and treating the customers with such disrespectful behavior? Oh shit. Yeah, oh shit is right. I've been out witnessing you after I've been hearing complaints from customers from the way you've been treating to the point of taking things to an extreme level. Absolutely outrageous of you Matthew Patterson. Boss please, I didn't intend things to go this way. Bull. Shit, you did this to yourself Matthew, you're 18, and you should have even two brain cells to know better when it comes to doing your job. Your ass is fired Matthew. No please boss, give me another chance, I swear to do better. No, no more further chances, it's too late. Now, change out of your outfit, and leave the freaking store right now, and don't think about coming back here again. <sighs> yes boss.